how do you care for more people outside hospital? Colette Mealy has been treated uh, for heart failure on a so-called virtual ward operated by Merseyside NHS Trust. And I asked her about when she was first offered the service. In February of last year, I was asked by one of the community nurses if I'd be interested in a new concept to the cardiac field called a virtual ward. Um, I'd never actually heard of this, to be perfectly frank, but it was um, a project uh, run by Mersey Care who in turn had a bank of nurses who were uh, we, we know as telehealth. Mm. And basically, um, I could be treated in the comfort of my own home and um, take general readings every day, input these to the nurses who would in turn um, speak to a cardiologist uh, and discuss it. So basically, I was receiving treatment, which I would get in a hospital, but in, you know, much more um, comfortable surroundings. Right. So when you say you were taking readings every day, what kind of readings? I had um, very basic equipment delivered to myself, blood pressure monitor, exometer, uh, pedometer, thermometer, and weighing scales. And I was given training on how to use them. But Generally, most of them were things that you would have possibly in the house anyway. It, you know, uh, they were very basic equipment. So every day I had to take um, these readings, blood pressure, um, you know, weight, etc. And then I would import this um, to the nurses at telehealth. Um, and if there were any problems that they could foresee or they weren't happy with the readings, they would actually ring me or vice versa. If, if I was unsure of anything, I could ring them. Um, so you had it, this this confidence initially. Yes. Sorry. Right. Well, no, I was going to ask you about that confidence. Did you feel safe? It was such um, a big difference because when you first diagnosed with this, um, you obviously don't want to be in a hospital environment for, you know, obvious reasons. However, at the same time, you worry when you are at home. So to have a means whereby you could be in, in the comfort of your own home, but still receive this same first class treatment, if you like, um, it, it, it just it made such a difference. So it impacted not just the physical, but also the mental side of your condition. And did you call them and say, I'm a bit worried? Or did they ever call you and say, hold on, what's this reading showing? Yes, many times. Um, if they weren't happy with the readings, they'd ring me to check on how I was. And if needs be, uh, they would ask me to input, um, you know, more readings so that they'd have an idea, they'd have a level across the day, just as if you were in, in a hospital bed, if you like, where they'd keep coming to the bed to monitor you. So this this was uh, a situation where it depending on day to day things, your condition, uh, et cetera, how it changed, whatever, they could give their care according to what your needs were. Colette Melia talking to me about her experience.